so guys, it seems like Soweetie Miss Icy sales are not gonna be too icy because her album, The Single Life, is only predicted to sell about 2,000 copies. And when they say about 2,000 or around about that number, it's always mostly correct or close to it. And some people feel if she would have did that interview with Vlad TV, her album sales would have been at least 10 times the number that they predicted. It says if Sweetie did a Vlad TV interview, she would have easily done 10 times her first week sales, which was 2,000 copies. We actually reached out through one of our people and we were told she won't do Vlad. Her loss, he tweeted. So Vlad felt that if she would have came on his show and stuff, she would at least got some more exposure to promote the album and stuff. And then her sales probably been better, but hey, who knows? And plus, she already had a bad lighting on her when Quavo came out with that song and it seemed like she allegedly slept with Offset and stuff. So all of that stuff, negativity surrounding her probably had something to do with the low sales. And so the other day, Joe Button didn't do any better on his podcast with bringing more alleged negativity to the platform allegedly saying that Sweetie need to shut the F up and tell us what happened. He said, Sweetie got to shut the F up. That's my take, he said. I'm not listening to Sweetie until she answers the questions that everybody waiting for her to answer. Did you F offset or not? That's it. It was bad timing for whatever she was saying in that song. It ain't the time for your freestyle. I honestly didn't really hear nothing directed to Quavo. I just heard Lil Baby and I think people keep confusing it with Quavo like they did last time. But either way, it ain't the time for confusion. It ain't the time for none of that. After they just lost their brother and nephew. Sorry, sweetie. Push it back. You've been quiet. No need to come shake the table now. Did you F dude or not? And that could have allegedly affected everything you just don't know or it could be the big elephant in the room the skills just aren't there those numbers didn't sit right with a lot of people and a sony digital was one of the main ones that had something to say besides he me. said if i had millions of followers and my album sold 2k i probably would just delete all my social media because y'all lying to me 13 million followers hundreds of thousands of likes on all pictures but album sales less than 2,000 copy that's crazy the math ain't adding up he continued and said before i came here to give my opinion, I just listened to the album. I actually listened to everything that dropped that day. Just out of curiosity to see what the competition was on. And Hitmaker had to add his two cents because he couldn't believe it either. He said, I encourage everyone in the office to really bet on who they sign. This is what I mean. If your artist doesn't win, are you prepared to lose with them? Like, lose your job? If we all live by the rules, the care would be through the roof. A lot of fluff acts wouldn't be Sweetie here. Sweetie selling 2K is bad A&R advice. Someone's supposed to tell you this ain't it. I also have issues with her having multiple platinum singles and not sticking with the same formula that got her here. Someone gotta get fired. That's why I can't stand analytics. People couldn't wait to not have to stand on gut feelings. Goosebumps. If it's trending, you sign them and it doesn't, doesn't work. It takes away being accountable for what you sign. Now you can lean on, oh, the numbers said, man, if all that. And so as you see, the professionals are speaking out and things. And in the midst of all of this, Sweetie says female rappers are running the rap game now due to the violence and disrespect in male music. And when she said that, some agreed. Someone was like, right message, wrong message. Someone said she didn't tell one lie. Females running the rap game because they're making fun music. Don't be childish. Her sales has nothing to do with her statement, even if she's not one of the women running music. Her 2K sales is not contributing. Laughing, crying emoji. Who's the top five female artists running the game right now? I like Glorilla, she's the only one I know so far. Saying this after the Civil War female rappers had on Twitter a few weeks ago is crazy. Someone else said, outside of the obvious humor in the message, a messenger, LOL, she might be on to something. I've been listening to R&B more recently than I ever have. Crying laughing emoji. Okay, but most women have nothing to rap about besides Karuchi, just straight Karuchi rap. So rap is basically a low hanging fruit. 
fruit at this point. She went triple aluminum. Y'all think clowning her about album sales is going to hurt her? She still have more money and success. Someone said, don't discredit the message because of the messenger clapping hands. Here goes all the comments about everything else that has nothing to do with what she actually said. I don't know if it's failure to comprehend or just the overwhelming need to be hateful. She literally stated facts, but people love to play blind and deaf. That's what's going on with these male artists until it's time to make a rip hashtag. True. And lastly, yeah, women are more visible, but the music isn't selling. Who's the top selling female out right now? Who's putting Drake, J. Cole, or Kendrick Lamar numbers? It's not one. They're just socialites who rap occasionally. Yeah, so there you have it, folks. People have their different opinions. Some are for the message. Some are not feeling the message. And the point about it is female rappers are becoming as powerful as the male rappers with a lot of influence and things. Everybody is not going to be a Nicki Minaj and have those type of fans like the Barb's that actually back up the noise they talk on the internet. They actually do an action to help her win awards and also sell her music. So, so don't get me wrong. There are a lot of other rappers out there who have a fan base and things and other you know, artists that have fan base that do support. But that's just the first female that popped into my head that I've also noticed a lot that have the fans that back up you know the noise they talk on twitter and instagram and things like that but tell me what you think down in the comments below this is all i have for you guys right now at the moment subscribe to the channel for more updates give me a thumbs up share if you care and i'll talk to you guys later